Today's video is about flash fill and how you can use it to save yourself a ton of time. So the next time you receive a list of names that you need to split to two columns or get them in proper case or even get their initials, no need to search for crazy solutions or complex formulas. Just use flash fill. This video is brought to you by Excel Essentials for the Real World. Learn Excel from scratch or fill in the gaps to become immediately confident. Discover hidden tips and tricks which get you working smarter, not harder. Click on the link below or type in xclplus.com slash courses. I've prepared a few examples. This is going to give you an idea of the different instances you can apply flash fill. In the first example, I have the name of the persons, and let's say I need to split them into first name and last name. One option is to use flash fill. All I have to do is type in the first name of the person, drag this down. What's going to happen by default, we're just going to be copying that name, right? That was the default, but now I'm going to use flash fill. And the magic happens. It tries to recognize a pattern and it tries to apply that pattern. Let's try this with the last name. Let's type in Miller. Now this time I'm going to do it a bit different. I'm just going to continue typing. So let's do the next one and look what happens. It tries to recognize a pattern and it already shows it to me in this light gray color. So all I have to do now is to press enter. That's the beauty of using flash fill. The only things you have to take into account is that one, this is not dynamic because there's no formula behind this. So if I change the last name of Richard here to something else, it's not gonna get reflected here. I need to either type it in manually or I have to apply flash fill again to the entire range. Also, if I wanted to get the first name somewhere else, so if I wanted to get Gary here and all the first names here, but my source data is here, flash fill is not gonna recognize the pattern. So if I go and select flash fill, I get this message. It tried to look for some type of pattern and it didn't find it because it doesn't know where to look. Okay, so you have to use flash fill close to your original data set. Let's do another example. We wanna get the email addresses for these people. They all work at the same company. So let's just start typing it in. I'm gonna start with gary.miller, let's do at xelplus.com. Now I can start typing the next ones in, but there is also a shortcut for flash fill. Press control E. I have the email addresses of everyone in my list. Let's take a look at another case. I want to get the name of the person in proper case. So I have mixed cases here. So some of them are proper case, but this one is a small G and a small M. I want all the names with a capital letter for the first name, capital letter for the second name. So again, I can start just typing it in. Now, let me just show you another way of applying flash fill. The option is in the home tab. So before we apply it, let's just highlight the area here and go to fill and select flash fill. Okay, so these are all the different ways you can apply flash fill. Just pick the one that you are likely gonna remember. Now let's do another one. We want to get the initials of the person. So I have GM here. Just continue to typing this in. It recognizes the pattern. And notice that for this one, Robert Jr. Spear, it gave me three letters, which is perfect. I just have to press enter. Next one. I have the opposite case here. I have first name separate, last name separate. I want to get the complete name. Start typing it in. This time I'm going to use my shortcut key, control E. That gives me the full name. Here's a different case. We have the product label and we want to split whether this is for women or men. So we want to get the initial here. Now, if I put W here and apply my shortcut, control E, it's recognized the wrong pattern because it thought the W is for the watch, but I want the W to be for the last initial. So in these cases where flash fill doesn't easily recognize a pattern, you need to give it more data to work off. So I have to give it the second case here, M, and press Control E. Now it's recognized the pattern. Let's use flash fill on dates. We want to get the year only, type in 2019. 
Now let's drag this down, apply flash fill. And it's correctly recognized that we want to get the year from the dates right here. So these are the different ways you can use this magic tool flash fill, which is available since Excel 2013. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you like using flash fill, hit that thumbs up. Now this video is a part of my Excel essentials for the real world course. If you're interested to find out more, go to xclplus.com slash courses. That's it for today. And I'll see you in the next video.